welcome to Let's Cook With It. Today we want to show you how to make uh, an Irish stew. What I'm doing today, I'm combining lamb and beef. So I'm using the, uh, the chuck beef cube and I'm adding a little bit of lamb here. So three quarter beef, one quarter lamb, so the lamb can flavor the whole, uh, the whole uh, meal. So preheat your frying pan to medium high. Uh, we're gonna saute the, uh, the, uh, the beef. I'm adding a little bit of butter, olive oil, Adding the beef and the lamb. Nice. Cooking here. Now we're gonna add the pepper, salt and pepper. And mix it a little bit. Add the flour. We're adding the flour so we can uh, create our own beef stock. Now we're gonna add the vegetables, starting with the carrot. Gonna put the carrot, onion, and garlic. I'm using the whole garlic. And I'm using some peppers as well. And the potato, we're gonna leave it till the end. Now let's mix it together and you can see now the, the, the beef starts uh, caramelizing a little bit. Don't be afraid, even if it's stuck in the bottom because that's what the, uh, that's what the, uh, the, old, the, uh, the beef uh, starts. Here we go, so you saute them for like 3-4 uh, minutes till you start seeing the caramelized color on the vegetable and on the meat. And now we're gonna add Celery salt. Red wine. Plum tomatoes. And the water. Water to cover the whole thing. And I have a whole rosemary here. Now you give it a little mix and you put it, as soon as it starts boiling, you bring it down to simmer and you let it simmer for uh, half an hour, then you'll check, you'll check on it. Nice. It's been simmering for, uh, for 25 minutes. Now it's time to take the rosemary out because the rosemary already gave the flavor to, uh, to, the, to the sauce here. And you don't want to overboil fresh herbs because start uh, producing uh, bitterness. Nice. Look at this. Been simmering for 40 minutes. Now the carrot halfway done. Now it's time to add the potatoes and let it simmer for another 20 minutes. Smells so good. Oh yeah. Nice. Look at this. Beautiful. Ready to go. Let's check the potato how it's doing. Fork. Oh yeah. Look at this. Now the last thing we're gonna add when it's ready, you just turn off and you add your green peas. And you can't call it Irish stew unless there's a lamb or greens in it. So the Irish stew is ready. Always when it's ready, turn off your stove and let it sit for 25 to half an hour and then you serve it. And for the time, it was done within an hour and 25 minutes. It was perfectly done. And now it's time to plate our stew. But before, let's give a little try. 
for salt and pepper I always put for a taste and at the end I'll uh, I'll add if I need a little bit uh, Mm, wow, it takes a little, little bit more salt. Give it a little mix. The plate. Mmm, yummy. Look at this. Voila. Nice. Look at this. It's your Irish stew. It's all yours to enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take care.